Wow, sitting in seesaw hurts. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Scotty Karate video. Today we're going to be going over a fundamental that you might need to be practicing a little bit more, and that is break falls. Are you practicing it at all? You should be! Ow! So the one we're going to be talking about today is the simple fall backwards. So, with my trusty assistant Mackenzie, if you haven't subscribed to her, you should. Her information will be in the link below. We will be showing you a simple way of doing the break fall from being pushed or a straight fall back. So let's do that. So what this is, is simply we're going to fall backwards, right? This is the scary one that everybody thinks about. And they're like, oh, I don't want to do that because they're afraid of flopping. They're afraid of hitting their head, which is all real risks. And I think a lot of this comes from movies. You see everybody fall and their head, blah, blah, blah. It's bad. But it doesn't have to. This is something that's easily controlled if you know what you're doing. So a break fall is simply what it sounds like. You're breaking the fall so you don't get as hurt as you would if you did. It's very common for you. A person comes over here and you, ah! and you try and catch yourself. Well, the problem is when you try and catch yourself, you're off balance, you're going to fall. Well, if you're going to fall anyway, fall away that will make you survive. Not hurt yourself. Be in a better position to fight back. At least be in a, on a, your back in a position where you didn't hurt yourself going down, and maybe you can get them in guard to help you. So this is a reality. We don't want to fall. We don't want to hit our head. So here's how you do it. It's real simple. So if you do have a mat, please practice on a mat. Otherwise, practice safely because this can hurt if you do it incorrectly. But if you do it correctly, nice. Barely an inconvenience. So, here's how you do it. All you're going to do is think about doing a squat. Ass to grass, people. So you're going to take your butt and put it straight down. So this is a common misconception because everybody thinks you're falling down. You're not a tree tumbling down. You don't want to fall straight back. What you want to do is go straight down. So, that's the first tip. So, think about going straight down. Then, once you get all the way down, all you're going to do is turtle. Think of yourself on a turtle, roll it on your back. You're going to roll, and then you're going to tuck your chin. So all you're going to do is tuck it down and roll. That helps hitting the back of your head against the concrete floor, whatever it is. That helps prevent that. Lastly, we're going to slap. Now, this is controversial because you don't want to do it in the street because you might hit concrete, glass, whatever, hurt yourself. We're doing it here as a way to stop ourselves. And this is more of a reminder for yourself to stop the momentum using your back versus using your hands. But that's what the last part of this, we're gonna slap as we go down, that way we stop the momentum and we don't continue to roll on our neck. So here's what this looks like. Got my helmet. So we're coming in, we're running the fall backwards for whatever reason. We're gonna take and go straight down and then roll. Slap. Excellent. So, it's really that easy. All you're doing is sitting down and rolling back. I'll show you again. So, you're coming along, you're walking down the street, and big Mr. Batty here decides to bully you. Where's your love money, man? Ah! And now you're safe. Because you chose to roll with it and take it as, you, as it comes versus try and fight it and hitting hard. Pretty simple. But it's a technique you should be working on because the reality is this is a very common happening, especially in a fight. Someone shoves. It's the most common thing you'll see. Check out videos. You'll see somebody coming in and shoving. The other person might stumble. They might fall. They might catch it. But if you can break fall, you should. Hope you liked the video. This is going to be just one of a few. We're going to do more break falls coming in the future. Hope you're ready. So, keep an eye out for that real simple technique. You should be practicing. Set it in your, your training and do it. If you liked today's video, please like, comment, subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell in the corner so you know when videos are posted each week. And as always, the more you train, easier to fight. <laughs>